वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू वॉल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एज वी ऑल नो सेल्स फोर्स हैज़ बीन गिवन एस वन और दी अदर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू डेटा टेबल इन सेल्स फोर्स फ्लोज नाउ इन स्प्रिंग ट्वेंटी फोर सेल्स फोर्स हैज सरप्राइज अस विद अ न्यू अपडेट इट इज़ अ वेरी यूजफुल अपडेट इन डीट एंड दैट इज दैट नाउ वी कैन मेनटेन आर सेलेक्टेड रेकर्ड्स वेन वी यूज सर्च बार इन डेटा टेबल लेट मी शो यू द रिलीज नोट फर्स्ट This is the flow runtime update, and this says we can now maintain our previous selections when we use search in data table. Now, to understand it more and deep dive into this, we will create a new flow, and I will tell you how uh, we can use this feature and how we can make our users' experience more seamless. Let's go here, search for flows. and let's create a new screen flow as you all know data table is a part of screen flow of course because it will display the data let's select screen flow here and create now first of course we want data for our data table right so we will take a get record element and let's say we will get all the accounts okay um we are not going to add any filter here we will just fetch all the accounts all records and that is it that is our get record element and now we will take a screen element here and we will take a data table in the data table we will give the api name first let's name it account records and here accounts okay use the label as the table title now in the configuration data source we will select our accounts that we have got with using the get records element now here is the catch this option is available from summer 2023 if you know about it or you will know that by clicking on it you will get a search bar on top of your data table to search data within your data table okay if you don't use it then today's example is not for you today's example is dedicated for the search bar feature okay let's select it now we need to configure roles so in data table we have multiple options if you want to give user a uh, the power to select multiple rows we will choose multiple if we want them to choose only single row we will choose single and if we want them to only view it then we will choose view only okay so today's example is just dedicated to this if the row selection mode is multiple that is when we actually need to reserve our previous selected data okay so now here we have chosen multiple let's say minimum should be 2 and maximum can be 6 okay um now we will configure our columns that means the column that will be visible in the data table we will choose account name and let's say country maybe billing country let's choose it okay and we will click on done now these two columns will be displayed set component visibility it will be visible always validate input we don't want to validate anything now we have the advanced feature so in the advanced feature we have two options one to manually assign variables basically to manually save the data that we are selecting from the data table to use it in our further flow elements and the second option we have is that either we want to um keep the values that is there in the previous screen or we want to refresh the inputs these values will be used when for example you are on the data table you select two rows you go to the next screen so if you choose the first option which is this one if you will click on the previous button here and you will come to the data table the rows you have selected will be there as it is this is what this option is used for and on the other hand if you want to refresh the options that means uh, by clicking on previous button uh, all the options selected will be gone and you will have a refreshed data table again with all the options deselected then you can choose this option okay now we will choose this one and right now we are not using uh, this flow further this is just to show you this example so i'm not using this manually assign variable and now we will just give the screen a name let's say select counts okay and let's click on done 
Now this is our flow where we have get all the accounts and we have shown them in the data table here. We have chosen to show the search bar, okay? Let's click on done. Let's save it. Data table search bar. And save it. We will activate it now and I will quickly add it to an app that I have created already for all the flow examples which is flow series. We will add it here and we will see how it performs live. Let's click on edit page. And here we will select flow. Let's drag it here. Our flow was data table search bar. And we will click on done. Activation. Save. And we are good to go. Let's go to our flow series app. And here is our flow with all the accounts. Okay, let me just tell you a quick overview of what was uh, happening before this uh, Spring 24 update. So, let's say for example, we search for T. Okay, now we have these three accounts. I will choose the first one. Okay, now uh, if I search for OPP and we have these two accounts. Okay, let's say I don't select any or if even if I select this one, now if we will go to all list here you see we have the t factory selected as well and the opportunity that we selected just right now but before this update what was happening is if i have selected t factory and i have searched for opportunity and i have selected opportunity then then the t factory will get deselected automatically and it will not store the value okay so not only selecting the opportunity but even if uh, let's say for example again we have selected the PT factory test and if I select for OPP, I don't select anything here and now if we will go to all, the PT would have been deselected from here. That is what was happening previous to this update. So basically if you have selected something and if you are searching for something else, after that search happens, the previous values were getting deselected. Now, with this example, what benefit we have is, for example, we have selected P. Now, I have selected OPP. And I select this one. And let's say I select P again. And I select this one. Now, if we will go to all list, we see all three are selected. So, no matter how many times you uh, search on the search bar, the previous selected items will get selected and the data table will have all of its data. Now, for example, let me just show you briefly what happens here in the back end. Let's go here and in the advanced manual assigned variable, I will create a account collection variable here for all the selected rows. Let's name it collection variable this is just to show you how the data is getting stored let's take a record variable and choose account here available for input output and allow multiple values because it is a collection variable now whatever row we will select using the search bar or just manually selecting it will get stored in this selected rows variable now let's do one thing, let's create a screen element here, select a display text and let's say we are showing here selected brackets. Um, here let's just select the variable directly which is a collection variable and name the screen as selected accounts. Mm, yes. And let's click on done we will quickly save it and just to show you that all the account we are selecting are getting uh, saved and the data is getting maintained uh, let's just refresh it and here let's say for example I choose opportunity and then I search for T 
and I'll select these two uh, tea factory test accounts and I click on next here you see I have three account IDs okay before this update what was happening is if I have selected opportunity for example and now I'm searching for T and selecting these two T accounts then when I click on next I will get only these two account IDs and not the opportunity account ID because of the same reason I told you that the previous uh, selection was getting deselected so this is what uh, this update brings to us that all the data will be maintained even after we do multiple searches or we select or we deselect we will have all the accounts that we have selected that is what this update is all about i hope you found this useful i hope you found this example very very easy to understand i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning